Hello everyone, RogueFox here, and welcome back to another Minecraft tutorial. Today, I will be showing you how to create a one-for-one -one trade shop for the Bedrock Edition. This trade shop is quick and easy to make, and if we take a look at the site here, we can see it is also very compact. Now, how this works, we set up our payment system on the right side here. Because this is Bedrock Edition, I figured that a slime ball is valid payment for an item such as a diamond. So what we do is we open up our chest, insert our payment, and then in return, our diamond is dispensed from the left side. And here are all the supplies we will need for today's build. Now up here, whatever you choose for your payment system, whatever's gonna come through, bring 22 of that item. And then of course, you wanna bring whatever it is you're selling. Other than that, there's a list of the supplies you'll need. Now if you wanna go ahead and pause the video, do that, and then we'll continue on with our build. For this build, we will need a two x four area, just like this. And the first thing we wanna do is set up our collection and dispensing system. So to do that, on this highlighted block right here, let's go ahead and throw down our chest. Next, grab your two hoppers. We're going to crouch place a hopper into the chest like that, and then crouch place a hopper into that hopper right there. So it should look like that. Now what we want to do is take a rest on output from this bottom hopper here. So to do that, let's go ahead and throw some blocks down like that in an L shape. Get your redstone comparator, place it facing out from the bottom hopper right there, and then put down two pieces of redstone dust like this. Now over on this side, let's go ahead and throw down a temporary block, and then we want to put a sticky piston facing forward just like that with a redstone block on its face. Now the purpose of this redstone block is going to be a multi-purpose, but for this part right here, this redstone block at the moment is locking up this hopper, which is going to contain our payment. So in this case, I'm using slime balls for my payment. Let's go ahead and put those in. So we have our 22 items. Go ahead and put them in like this, and then throw the 18 on the side right here. That way, when items come through, only the slime ball will make its way through. Everything else that is not a slime ball, or whatever your payment is, will be stuck up top. At this point, we just need to put one last touch to our dispensing system, and that's gonna be our dropper. So let's go ahead and come right above our redstone block right here, and place our dropper facing up. You should hear a tick, that's perfect. It's all ready to go. Now go ahead and open up your dropper and whatever item you're selling, go ahead and throw it in there. In this case, I'm gonna sell diamonds. So let's go ahead and throw that in and we can go ahead and start putting in our floor, covering up our redstone, throw a little wall in the back like that. And there we go. We can call it a day and go home. I mean, let's go ahead. We don't want anyone to get into our dropper. So there we go. Honestly, if you wanted to do that, call it a day, you definitely could. We just throw our item in. And then what we're selling is dispense, giving us our one for one trade. We want our business to look a little more respectful, right? So let's go ahead and place a chest above this hopper and then a wrestle lamp above the dropper. Personally, I like to use item frames. So I'm gonna place item frames right here. And then I want the customer to know that it's gonna cost them a slime ball to get a diamond. So I'm gonna go ahead and do it like that. If you want, you can place signs over these and type it in. It's totally up to you. I'm just choosing it to do it that way. And then I'm just gonna throw some stairs over here like that, nothing fancy. And now for the bells and whistles. We have a redstone lamp, now we need to power it. So let's come around the back right here, knock this block out, put a temporary block with an observer facing in this direction like that. And then we can go ahead and put the block back, break this. There we go, you see how that's gonna work. As I mentioned, this redstone block is gonna be a multi-purpose block. So not only will it unlock the hopper, but once it extends, the observer will pick it up and then they'll light up our redstone lamp here. But then it will also trigger our note block. So let's go ahead, place another temporary block with our note block on top. We can knock that out. And then we can set this to whatever pitch we like. I'm gonna go ahead and go with that. That sounds fine to me. Now. This is all finished. Let's go ahead and try it out. So we walk up to our trade shop. Hey, a slime ball for a diamond. Okay. So let's go ahead and do that. Open this up, drop in our slime ball, and then our diamond is dispensed. And there you have it, the one for one trade shop. Very simple, very compact. And this is the end of our tutorial. I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. This has been Rogue Fox. And I'm out. See you later.